I, can we talk a little bit about like why we get sick and what illness is? And is it all just part of my emotional traumas that haven't been healed? Is some of it physical? I, I know that we don't know everything. I'm just interested in in your thoughts because I, you know, I'm a unity minister. You may know nothing about unity, but what's so interesting about unity is a lot of what you talk about in your book are unity principles. The idea that we are all one. The idea that we have power in our thoughts to to actually create reality. Certainly, our experience of reality. And the founders of unity. Charles Fillmore, he actually believed that we could regenerate our body, that there's no real reason for us to age or get sick or anything, but it just takes a spiritual elevation of consciousness that none of us have attained, but that it is possible. So I'm kind of interested in your thoughts on illness, what it does for us, and whether you think that we have the possibility of uh, healing ourselves and also perhaps not even aging so much. I think from the aging point, I mean, we know from the Bible that, that people lived for hundreds of years. So, and right. I think that, you know, they must have known something that we don't know now. I feel that we live in a sort of a, a paradigm. It's just like very fixed. We only sort of see so much. And that's probably if we are a little bit more aware of things, then possibly we, we would be a, able to extend our, our years. But my feeling is that we have been disempowered, let's put it that way, over the years, so that we are, we are just very blinkered in what we understand to be the reality of what we're living. But your question about illness, illness is, I think, definitely a teacher. If we remember that the body is an expression of our consciousness, then is the body teaching us something about something that's maybe out of sync? That's maybe what possibly it needs. People might be open to asking that. Illness is a teacher. It's also a message. And we talked a little bit about the soul. And I think as I look at it, the soul or the higher self is our sort of our guiding principle. And it it knows what is good for us. So we need to cultivate a sort of relationship with, with the soul. And if we're not listening, I think what the soul, you know, might give us some hints to begin with, a bit of discomfort here or a difficult time here or whatever. But if we don't listen and do what we should be doing, maybe we need to move ourselves out of a situation that's not good for us. Maybe we need to look at our belief patterns that have been, or our conditioning that from childhoods that we, we've taken on board and we can't really see our way through. This is, that can be so detrimental as, as, you know, as ch children, we just take on programming with maybe we're told that we, we're not good enough and we expect in, as adults not, not to do well or not to be, have the confidence. So we sort of need to understand what is not in our best interest. And I think the soul can tell us that if we are listening, but that sort of connection is often a bit rusty. We're not, we need to spend time in a bit of quietness and regularly to understand what is it I'm being told here? You know, what if something's not right? Because what the soul will do if, um, if we don't listen is it will up the message a bit so that we may find something more physically demanding to deal with. Um, the other thing I think with illness is that could, there could be a karmic component to this. And maybe I don't mean that in a punishing way that we're being punished by having an illness. I, we, it may be that we take on illness as, uh, unconsciously because it may be something that we'd never done before as in our soul's evolution. And I think that's important as, as we're here for, for our experience on earth is that we're learning and we're evolving. So maybe there, we haven't done this from a, we have this illness we haven't done before or that certain type of illness or whatever, but more importantly, maybe what we're doing through that illness is eliminating a character weakness or strengthening our resolve, which they're all important to our soul's evolution. 